This is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar comparing the video compression in Apple Compressor, Telestream Episode, and Sorensen Squeeze. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to set up and compress a file using Sorensen Squeeze. By the way, our membership is a great value. If you're looking to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library is a great value. There's more than 400 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up-to-date, all for an incredibly low monthly price of $19.99. Plus, members can attend any Power Up webinar for free. Our training covers Apple, Adobe, and Autodesk software, and we update it every week. For more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. Sorensen Squeeze has a slightly different philosophy, uh, equally uh, robust presets and equally deep in terms of the settings that we can use. Different interface. What we've got here is we have a simple process of creating video. First is, let's import a file. So I'm going to go to the desktop, I'm going to pull in Twin Waterfalls and click Open. Several things happen at the same time. The video opens up inside the preview window. The video is assigned a default setting where if it needs to crop the video to achieve the aspect ratio that you've got, it will automatically crop it. If it's in the correct aspect ratio, you don't have to worry. If it's interlaced footage, it will automatically deinterlace. If it isn't interlaced, it'll ignore it. It's a smart crop and a smart deinterlace. It automatically applies that filter setting. So we've got the video added, but we haven't created a preset. Presets fall into three categories, workflows, individual formats, and your own favorites. These could be custom or just ones that you want to use over and over. I'm going to go to the web, and let's see, I'm going to go to devices, Apple Eye devices, and we'll just pick the iPad Apple TV. Click, hold, and drag on top of the video. It's now applied that filter. It's going to store it at the same location as the source file. And all I have to do is click squeeze and it starts compressing. Well, we've already watched the barometer scrolling across to see how compression works. So let's look at creating a custom destination. Instead of using this destination, I want to create a custom destination. To do that, right mouse click where it says default and modify the output directory. Go to our second drive, go to Compressed Files, click Choose. Now the destination is going to go to the Compressed Files folder. We can even set this up up here. If you go to Squeeze, go to Preferences. These are all the different preference settings we have with Squeeze. The only problem I've got with this is this is actually a longer dialog than will fit on the screen. I'm doing a 1280-720 demo and the OK and Cancel buttons can't be displayed because I can't scroll down to see them. So that one piece is missing, which means don't run your screen that small. The um, Output. See on the Output tab, we can save encoded files to the same folder as the source file, or we can click here and say, I want to change this to be the second drive, Compressed Files folder, and click Choose. Now all of my files default to that custom location. And then I would go down and I'd click the OK button to accept these changes, but you'll just have to imagine <laughs> on a bigger screen that the OK button is there. For right now, I'll just close the Preferences window and not save those changes. We can also set ins and outs. This is our playhead. Type the letter I to set the in. Move the playhead. Type the letter O to set an out. We can then compress just this section of the movie. Click the Squeeze It button, and we're done. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, the video compression shootout between Apple Compressor, Telestream Episode, and Sorensen Squeeze. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store and look for Webinar 83.